What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. I was recently going through Dribble looking for web design inspiration and I found this really clean site by Philip Justique, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, really cool, very tech vibey site here. But one of the things that really stuck out to me that I thought was cool was this full width carousel. So you can see the carousel items are actually like going all the way off the page. So this is something that I wanted to achieve in Squarespace and I figured out how to do it. It's very easy, only takes one line of CSS. So that's what we're gonna be looking at how to create in today's tutorial. Okay, so I'm here in my example Squarespace site. I'm planning a redesign of my website. And so I always just start kind of like just tester sites to like try different stuff out on. Um, so this is just one of the tests of different elements that I want to try and achieve in my redesign. So I have some cool um, like fading out of the first section. I have this like looping, looping words here. Uh, in my intro section got some cool overlay effects here um, I have my gallery fade in I have kind of a custom gallery of where my recent projects would be um, then I would want to have like a testimonial section on the main page and you can see I have kind of a cool background transition where the background goes from dark to light so just testing out a bunch of different stuff, but I also would want on my redesign, obviously, to feature my most recent tutorials. So I definitely want to have a carousel, but I, I kind of want to achieve that like full width where the other items are like bleeding off the page. So uh, I have everything ready to go, and now I'm ready to just add my CSS. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to limit my CSS to just this carousel summary block. I may not want this to uh, the CSS that we write to apply to all summary blocks or carousel blocks on the site. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to just grab the block ID for this block. So if I go all the way up to the top, you can see this is the summary carousel um, block and down here at the very bottom has ID block dash UE and then just a bunch of letters. So you should never target an ID that is starts with a UE because these are dynamic. And so when you reload the page, this will change. So you never want to target UEs, but you can target block dash UEs. So these are not dynamic. This is the actual ID for the block. So I'm going to copy that ID. We target IDs with a hashtag, and I'm gonna paste in that block UE and open up some curly brackets. So again, this is gonna be limiting the CSS that we write to just this carousel block. All right, so now we can jump back into the HTML and we can figure out how to create that cool, like uh, full width effect. So, okay, so here's the main container class. And then we go down we have this SQS block content. We're gonna go down again, and we have this summary block wrapper container. And then we're gonna go down one more, and we have this summary item list container, SQS gallery container. So you can see uh, over here on the right, this .sqs gallery container, it has an overflow of hidden. So all we have to do is turn this overflow instead of hidden to where anything outside of this container Anything outside of this highlighted rectangle right now is going to be hidden. But if we turn this to visible, then we're going to be, be able to see our other carousel items that are actually existing outside of this rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this CSS here. Copy that, and I'm going to paste it in my block UE curly brackets. And I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need the width property, it's already defined by Squarespace. And I'm going to change this overflow um, from hidden to visible. And that's all we needed to do. So now when I go full screen, you can see that the other carousel items are appearing and bleeding off the page. So I can go all the way to the right 
And now we have this really cool like scrolling full width carousel block. I think it looks super awesome. So not only is it a cool design element, but also just having other items over here to the right, uh, I think it'll make people want to click to the right more uh, because it's very obvious that there could be more interesting stuff here to the right. So an, a big reason that I'm thinking I wanna feature this effect on my website redesign looks very cool. And again, it literally took like one line of CSS. It's just changing this overflow hidden to overflow visible. All right, you guys, that was it for this tutorial. If you're interested in some of these cool hover effects, you can visit my shop. Um, and I'm also going to have um, probably some premium tutorials available on how to create this looping uh, word here. Um, you can define a bunch of different words that you want it to loop through, very easy to install. So I'll probably have that be like a, a premium sort of plugin or tutorial. Um, and I'm also, probably going to create a premium tutorial for how to change background colors on scroll um, so let me let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in it's a really really cool effect um, so yeah i don't want to make the tutorial if you guys aren't interested but if you are interested let me know in the comments below and again that would probably be a premium tutorial um, that you just have to pay a little bit for just because it's pretty advanced, but it's a really cool effect. Um, I think if you used it for your site or for your client's sites, they would be really blown away. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial, a very quick one. I will see you guys in the next one. Keep creating awesome Squarespace websites.